Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Mixed Media Mayhem. And this week, our uh, challenge is to scrap lift this gorgeous page by good friend Moira O'Reilly. And um, she's used a Vicki Booten paper. I forget what collection it's from. And she's added mixed media underneath where she cut the edges of the circles out. And she's got a little cluster down here. I'm going to stamp similar circles. I'm using a stamp set by um, Visible Image, and it's this stamp right here. So it's got a few rings, three, four rings, as opposed to the, I don't know, 15 or so there. So I'm just going to play with, I'm gonna do some um, saltwater taffy mixed media kind of around and under the circles. And then I'm gonna stamp the circles in four different colors of green. And I have some sequins that are in a couple different pink shades and a couple different green shades with some neutral kind of yellowish beige. So I've got my, um, my uh, baby wipes to clean the, the stamp. So let's get started. I'm gonna do the mixed media first and then, then I'm gonna try to dry it as best I can. Um, I don't really wanna make it too wet, but I do wanna get that watery effect. So, you know, maybe I can't have it both ways. I'm gonna put a little bit kind of around and then I'm gonna spread it out and do some down here. The Down here, it's beginning to look a little more like um, just splatters. And I'm gonna transfer some of this water down to here. Uh, now, I'm gonna dry it off. With my paper towel. And my guess is that that's not gonna, you won't be able to tell what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, the photo, the first, the big photo I'm gonna use up at the top is gonna go about right here. So I want my circles to somewhat come down, but not all the way, somewhat down to about the middle of that and down to about where that ends. So let me kind of mark this. Um, That'll work. Okay. And then down here, it's not gonna matter quite so much. So I'm gonna start now with Lucky Clover. And I'm gonna pull this down and do some stamping off the page. And Whoops, <laughs> and I, I did a shadow <laughs> stamp there. Uh, I'm gonna try to convince you that was intentional. Let me kinda go there and there, and I'm gonna switch colors. I don't think I need to do a huge cleaning job there, but 
Let's try it. There and there. 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 Oops, I did. I'll do it like that. And then I'll do a different color kind of up there. That was peeled paint. Now I'm doing forest moss, and that's going to be a really nice dark green that has a lot of brown in it. And these are kind of, I'm gonna, I have been neglecting to do any down here, but I wanna do some. I've got a little messy bit right there, but Okay, let me get this, and now I'm going to do another, this is mowed lawn. I'm overlapping and kind of intentionally not pressing down all the way on all of the stamping. Right now I'm trying to fill things in and I believe I'm going to call that done. Except, now I think I'm going to clean the green off and do some of the pink in amongst the green circles. So, like, there... And there. I'm going to make, I'm going to do this one so that it kind of looks like it incorporates that. And that's probably down a little lower than I had intended to go, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it anyway. Okay, let me clean that stamp off, and then it's over here ready to put away. I'm gonna put the inks out of my way and get this down there. All right, now I think we're ready to go. I want to put some foam behind the photo. This photo is about, uh, what, one, two, three, about three and a half by three and a half with the mats on it. And The subject, which is an Easter egg hunt, is not the story of this page. This page is about the cuteness 
and the togetherness. So I'm going to put this one right there. I'm going to keep that handy. Put that one straight. I have this one floral cluster. which I think I'll just put right there. And I have another one for down here. Okay, I've got some splattery bits there. I'm kind of, I had kind of left myself the option to maybe um, do some extra splattering around, but I kind of like the way the colors are playing with each other right now. I'm just gonna put that right there. And I've got this bit. It says moments that last, and it's in a contrasting orange color that kind of picks up on some of the orangey type tones in the filtered version of that photograph. I've got this, which says wonderful. And I'm just going to put it right there. I don't know if the sticky stuff works. It does not. So I'm going to add some liquid glue to that. But first I want to get the the part that peels off. That goes there. I have this that says best day ever, which I'm going to put down here. I hate covering up those splatters, though. I'll just kind of put it so you can see some that are between there and there. Okay, now, sequins. Mara did her sequins kind of around some of the circles. And as a nod to that, I'm going to do something similar, but I won't do it all the way through if you, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm gonna go around this pink circle. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough dots of glue, but let's try it. And I think instead of trying to be really careful with the colors, 
I may just put them on randomly. And this is a mix called Scrap and Happy. It's one of my favorite mixes ever. I love these colors. And they're, it's easy to use them with almost any any colors. You could use them with vivid brights and they would pick up on some of the vivid tones or, or with pastels or, you know, in a lot of cases, these sequins are going to be uh, accents. Like I don't have any teal in here and yet I'm using teal sequins. I'm going to try to put more of these pink ones in and I may find something to go in the center of that like a, a circle, a circular sticker. Okay, let's go with another big one right here. And I want a pink one. Let's do a small, shiny pink one. And I'm going to do a green. This one's a purity green. And I think now I need a really small one, so I'm going to go with one of these kind of peachy colored ones. Okay, there. Now I'm going to do a few just along this line. kind of around the flower there. And then I'll just kind of scatter a few, put a few in a, a, a grouping kind of right in here. Uh, let's get this green one. <laughs> it's not wanting to stick there and then let's do a little peachy one and another pink one right there and i'm gonna do a big blue one right here Okay, and now just one, two, and three. Oops, <laughs> not good. I'm going to go for that one right there. And then I will take a bright green one and put it here. And then the more vivid peachy pink, I'll put there. Okay, I believe we're done, except let me see if I can find something circular or otherwise appropriate for right in here. I don't have to find anything. There's one here that says, be kind. And I don't, uh, then here's one that says, you are my sunshine. 
but it may be too big. I think I'll give up on that idea and put those back. I have some puffy stickers here that are very summery, but there's a cute, I like the word smile. Right there. I don't, it's, it's a little too, it's still, maybe because I know the set it came in, it's still looking a little too summery for me. There is, oh, here, here. There is this green little circle with a pink flower on it. that would be perfect for right there where that circle is. And then there is this little pink circle that says love. And I'm gonna put it down here, right there, cause this dad that's helping this little boy uh, hunt for Easter eggs, is uh, getting ready to see this little boy graduate from basic training on uh, Wednesday of this week. And um, this is, you'll be seeing this on Friday. I'm actually doing it on Sunday. And so we haven't left yet to go. I've got this little circular bit that I kind of think might be cool right there. It's a subtle circle in the middle of all those other circles. Okay, so I think the only thing that I might change is I'd have these running up here and kind of curving around, but I think it's okay if you just see them at the bottom. So I am happy with this. I've added an extra photo and brought this one a little more towards the center than I might have thought, and, and so I probably could use, if I had another of these kinds of florals, I might put one right here, but I don't think I do. I have, what could I put there? I've got these fussy cuts from various uh, florals. Oh, here, 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 here. How about that? Okay. And here's another one from that same collection, but I think I like the size of this one better. So let me put all these back in here. These are just miscellaneous fussy cuts of all kinds of things in the floral and leafy genre. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, foam on the flower. So that it has some dimension. And then I'll tuck it under there. Kind of far so that not much of it shows actually. Kind of like so. There we go. All right. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you next Friday when we'll have another fabulous mixed media challenge for you. And you're welcome to go to our Facebook group, um, um, join in any of the challenges you see, upload your um, page to the appropriate um, album, and you can go back in and change the um, caption on your photo. You can click on the photo and, and there's a button that'll say edit caption. And when you edit caption, if you've made a video, you can put a link or you can just type in some uh, information about what products you used or um, anything you, uh, you'd like to communicate to the group and it'll be there 
we'll put a link, all of us who make videos on the team, we'll put a link to that album uh, on our um, description boxes in our videos. And so that'll be, it, yours will be there for everybody else to see, just like ours will. So thank you for joining in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.